things that often comes with playing a superhero. Usually, eventually, at some point, you step down and then you sort of pass the mantle on to someone else and obviously pass on the knowledge, all the lessons that you've learned. Many, many, many years from now, when you decide you're done and you're going to pass on this character to the next actor, what is the most important lesson you've learned that you would want to make sure that that next actor understands? Uh, wow. Mm, just do do the work. There's no shortcuts. You gotta you gotta just walk the walk, and enjoy the process because it is magical. So I'm gonna push it one step further, and I'm not sure how you're gonna feel about this question. But one thing that we have seen with superhero films in the past few years, something I never thought I would see growing up as a nerd as a kid, is we have seen our superheroes die. Like we saw Superman die, Iron Man die, Batman literally had his back broken. Would you ever be interested in shooting a Wonder Woman death scene? Or is that never. something you've not... Never. never. And I don't think this is something we should, you know, bring to the world. I think Wonder Woman stands for such an incredible, such incredible values. She's all about love and hope and empathy and compassion and peace. And like, why show her in such a dark place is something that is beyond me. Uh, as I'm sure you know right now, the rules are kind of out the window for superhero films. The, the Flash is going to meet Michael Keaton's Batman. One Spider-Man is going to meet another Spider-Man. Our heroes can meet any heroes from any other franchises played by any other actors. So with that in mind, if Wonder Woman could meet any other hero or villain from any other superhero era or franchise or sequel, which one would you be most curious to see her go toe-to-toe with? You know, it's interesting because it's a question I was asked a lot after the first, when we released the first Wonder Woman, and I always said the cheetah. <laughs> and now that I got to play with the cheetah and it was so delightful, it's hard to let go of her. Um, but I don't know, it's hard to just pick one. Um, and I'm afraid I'm going to get myself in trouble. Uh, I would say I'll stick to the cheetah. Do you think, would you be interested, since The Flash gets to meet Michael Keaton's Batman, would you like to meet Michael Keaton's Batman? That would be amazing. And I'm a big Michael Keaton's, uh, Michael Keaton's uh, fan. That would be great. Warner Brothers right now is just taking notes backstage. <laughs> Did you uh, hear you that? <laughs> <laughs> I, I love the two time periods that, of the two Wonder Woman films, obviously World War I and in the 80s. But obviously a lot happened between those two eras. What is a moment in history between those two, these two films that you would sort of be curious to see how she handles? We talked about it a lot, World War II. Um, and this was actually something that after bringing this up, we decided to uh, implant uh, a, a, a photograph that we shot specially for the movie that was taken essentially from World, World War II. I cannot tell you how much I love this movie. And I think you in this role is some of the greatest casting that we've seen in decades. Wow. So thank, thank you so, you so much, much for, for just giving us everything we need right now. Thank you very much. Good to